Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. I'm Sean Gann, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about the least common multiple. We're going to find the LCM of each. So, if I was given these numbers, 10 and 3, okay? So I have 10 and 3. Well, what I want to do is I always take the larger number and find all the multiples of that. So 10, and then we have 20, right? And first, 3 doesn't go into 10, right? So does 3 go into 20? No, uh, evenly. But does the next one is 30. Does 3 go into 30? Yes, 3 divided by 30. Uh, 30 divided by 3 is 10. So it goes in evenly. So my answer here is just 30. 14 and 6. Well, I take the largest number, 14, and I go through each multiple to see which one's divisible by 6, the first ones, right? Well, 6 doesn't go into 14, so then we have 28 here. Does 6 go into 28? No. But 42 is the next multiple of 14, right? 42 goes in, right? 6 goes into 42, 7 times evenly. So my answer here is just 42. 15 and, or these numbers, 15 and 6, all right? The largest number is 15, and I find the multiples of that. Well, 15, does 6 go into 15? No. Next multiple is 30. 6 goes into 30, right? 30 divided by 6 comes out to be 5. Goes in evenly, and so since we have that, our smallest multiple there is 30. 15 and 20. Well, I take the larger of the two numbers, 20, and go through the multiples of 20 and find the first one that is also divisible by 15. So 20 is not divisible by 15, and neither is 40. But 60 is. 60 divided by 15 is 4. So 60 is my magic number and my final answer. 27 and 18. Larger of the two is 27. So we go through the multiples of 27 and find the first one that's also divisible by 18. Well, 18 does not go into 27, but the next multiple is 54. 54 uh, can be divided by 18, and that becomes 3. Okay, so 54, you can divide by 18 and get 3, and so 54 here now is my least common multiple. 4 and 30. Well, I take the larger of the two numbers, 30, and see if the other number goes into it. Well, 4 does not go into 30 evenly, so I go with the next multiple of 30, which is 60. Now, 4 goes into 60 evenly, and 60 divided by 4 is 15. So, 60 is my least common multiple. 24 and 32. Okay. Well, I take the larger of the two numbers, 32, and find its multiples. Okay, And as I go through, I try to see if that multiple can be divided by 24. Well, 32 cannot be divided by 24. Next multiple is 64. 64 cannot be divided by 24 evenly, so we have 96. Now, 96 can be divided by 24, right? So 96 can be divided by 24, and that's going to be 4 times. 96 divided by 24 is 4. Okay, so 96 is my final answer. 20 and 30, okay? Well, I take the larger of the two numbers, 30, and find its multiples and see which one is divisible by 20. Well, 20 doesn't go into 30, right? So the next multiple is 60. Does 20, 60 go, or 20 go into 60? Yes, 60 divided by 20 is 3. Okay, so my answer here is just 60. 24 and 36, okay? Well, I take the larger of the two numbers, 36, and I go through its multiples and see which one is divisible by 24. Well, 24 does not go into 36. The next multiple is 72. 72 divided by 24, right, equals 3. And so 72 is divisible by 24, and so my answer here is just 72. 35 and 25. Okay? Well, I take the larger of the two numbers, 35, okay? And I go through 
its multiples, and I find which one is also divisible by 25. Well, 35 is not, and then I have 70. 70 is not divisible by 25, and neither is 105. Then 140 also cannot be divided by 25, but 175 can. 175 divided by 25 is 7. Okay, so 175 was the first one of these multiples that is divisible by 25, and so 175 is my final answer. 18xy squared and 15 y to the third power. First thing I deal with is the number itself, 18 and 15, okay? So I take 18 and find its multiples and find the smallest one that is divisible by 15. Well, 18 is not divisible by 15 and neither, neither is 36. Neither is 54 or 72. We don't get there until we get to 90 because 90 divided by 15 is the first one that goes in evenly and that is 6, okay? So 90 is going to be the number now to deal with the variables. And really, with our variables, we make sure we encompass everything, okay? We have one x here, no x here, but we have to have an x, right? We have an x. Two y's here, three y's here. Well, we need to have at least three y's, so we have y to the third power. And there we have it. 90 x y to the third power is my final answer. 20 x to the third power and 16 x to the fourth, okay? Well, first thing I deal with is just the numbers. The largest number is 20, and I go through its multiples and see which one's divisible by 16, the first one. Too. 20 is not, and neither is 40. 60 also is not divisible by 16, but 80 is. 80 divided by 16 gives me 5, okay? So my number here that I need is 80, but now I have to deal with the variables. Well, I got three x's here and four x's there. I got to encompass all the most I can, so it's x to the fourth power, and so my final answer here is it's 80x to the fourth power. 18 and 6d, okay? Well, I first deal with just the numbers and take the largest, 18, and I go through its multiple to see which one is divisible by 6, the first one to be. Well, luckily for me, 18 is divisible by 6, and that's going to be 3. So the number I'm looking for is 18. Now I need to worry about the variables. Well, I have no variables here and one variable here. We have to encompass all variables. So we have a V here. And so my final answer here is just 18V. 3x squared and 10. Okay. Well, first thing, as I look at the numbers, I got 10 largest of the two. And I go through its multiples and find which one is divisible by 3. Well, 10 is not, and neither is 20, but 30 is divisible by 3, and that's going to be 10, right? So 30 is divisible by 3. We're good. So 30 is my number here, okay? Now I have to deal with the variables. Well, we have to encompass all of our variables. We have an x squared, and we have nothing, so we just have to bring down the x squared. And so my final answer here is just 30x squared. 20y and 14y squared, okay? First thing is I deal with the numbers, 20 and 14. Largest of the two is 20. So I start with 20 and I go through its multiples and find which one is divisible by 14. Well, 20 is not, neither is 40 or 60. 80 is not, 100 is not, 120 is also not, but 140 in fact, is our first multiple of 20 that's divisible by 14. And 140 divided by 14 is just, you can guess it, 10. Okay? So the number we're looking for here is 140, but now we have to deal with the variables. Well, we got one variable here and two variables there. One y and two y's. We have to encompass everything. Largest is y squared. So we got y squared there. So my final answer here is 140y squared. 25x squared and 25y, okay? Well, this one's easy. Since our numbers are exactly the same, for the 25s at least, 25 and 25, our number part for the LCM is going to be that 25, okay? Now we have to worry about the variables. Well, I have x squared and y, and we have to encompass all of our variables, so let's just bring them together, x squared and y, and there we have our final answer, 25x squared. 32u squared, 14v squared, okay? Well, 
first thing I want to do is I'll deal with my numbers. 32 and 14, 32 is the largest of the two. I now go through the multiples of 32 and see which one is divisible by 14. 32 is not, 64 is not, neither is 96. 128 is not, 160. 192 is not, the first one is 224. That is the first one that's divided by 14 evenly, and that's 16 times. So, 224 is the number we're looking for. Now we have to find our variables. Now, we have to encompass all of our variables. We have two u's here and two v's there. So let's bring them together. We got u squared here and v squared. And so my final answer is 224 u squared v squared. 18 m squared and 24 n times m. Okay. Well, first I go through the numbers. 24 is the larger of the two, and I'm going to go through its multiples and see which one is divisible by 18. 24 is not, 48 is not, but 72 is. 72 divided by 18 comes out to be 4. Okay? So 72 is the first multiple of 24 that's divisible by 18. And now we have to deal with the variables. Well, I have two m's here, and I have one n and one m. Okay? And encompass the most of each variable m squared, and n, and there we have our final answer, 72 m squared n. 16 x squared y, and 32 x, okay? Well, first thing as I deal with my numbers, 32 is the largest of the two, and it turns out that that one actually is the first multiple of 32 itself, is divisible by 16. Okay, two times, right? So 32 is a number that I'm looking for, and now I have to deal with my variables. Well, we have to encompass the most variables for each set right here. But I have x squared here and 1x, so x squared needs to come down. I have 1y and no y's, and so at least 1y comes down. So my final answer here is this 32x squared y. 30, a, b to the third power, and 20 a b to the third power, okay? Well, I first start with my numbers. My largest one is 30, and I go through its multiples to see which one's divisible by 20. 20 does not go into 30, but 20 goes into 60, right? right? And that's three times. So 60 is the number that I'm looking for here, and now I have to find the variables. Well, I have 1a here and 1a here, so 1a. b to the third power, b to the third power, b to the third power, pretty easy now. So my final answer here is just 60 AB cubed. 30, 25, and 10, okay? Well, I take the largest of these numbers and I find its multiples, I write them out. So I have 30, okay? And as I write them, I see, uh, do, is, is that number divisible by 25 and 10? Well, 30 is not. Uh, 60 is the next one, and that is not as well. 90 is not. 120 is not, but 150 is. 150 is divisible by 25, and that's going to be 6 times. And 150 is divisible by 10, 15 times. Okay? So the first one of these that is divisible by the other two numbers, and so 150 is the number that I'm looking for right here, and that is my least common multiple. 28, 14, and 21, okay? Well, I take the largest of these numbers, 28, and I go through its multiples, and I find, or try to find the first one that's divisible by 14 and 21. Well, 28 is not divisible by both, or neither is 56, but 84 is, okay? 84 divided by 14 is 6, and 84 divided by 21 is 4. So 84 is the first number, first multiple 28, that's divisible by the other two. So my final answer here is just 84. 10, 4, and 18. Okay? Well, first thing, I think 18 is the largest of, it, of them, and I find its multiples. And as I go through, I see if it's divisible by 10 and 4. Well, I go through it, 18 is not, 36 does not, 54 does not, 72 and 90 both fail, 108 fails, 126 fails. 
144 doesn't work. 162 doesn't, but at 180 does. It is the first multiple of 18 that's divisible by 10 and 4. 180 divided by 10 is 18, and 180 divided by 4 is 45. So as a first number, first multiple of 18, that's divisible by 4 and 10 evenly. So 180 is my final answer. 10 B A, 20 B A, and that A is a little low there, A, and 28 B A, okay? Well, I go through and I see my largest number is 28, so I'm starting there. And I'm going to go through the multiples of 28 and see which one is divisible by 20 and 10, okay? 28 is not, 56 is not, 84 is not, 112 is not, but 140 is. 140 divided by 10 is 14, and 140 divided by 20 is 7. So it's the first one there. So you have 140 here. Now I have to worry about the variables. Well, I have a BA in each one, and that's it. So it's just BA. My final answer is 140 BA. 8Y squared, 16XY, and 16Y. Okay. Well, the largest number is shared between these two 16s, okay? And we know that 16 is divisible by itself, right? 16 is divisible by itself one time and divisible by 8 two times, okay? So it is actually the multiple of 16, uh, the first multiple of 16, it's divisible by 8 and itself. So 16 is a number that we need here. Now, I have to deal with my variables. Well, I have two y's here, one y and one y, so encompass most y squared. No x's, one x, no x. So I have to encompass that there. So my final answer here is just 16 y squared x. 28 b squared, 20 a times b, and or a b to the third power, excuse me, and 16 b to the fourth. All right, so first thing I do is deal with my largest number, which is 28, and I go through its multiples. So I have 28 here, and I go through its multiples and find the first multiple that's divisible by 20 and 16, okay? This is gonna take a while. So 28, 56, nope, 84, I don't think so, 112, nope, 140, nope, 168, no, keep on going. 196 does not, 224 does not, 252 does not, 280 does not, 308 is the next one, but it does not, and 336 does not as well, okay? 364 fails, 392 fails, 420 fails, 448, uh, nope, 476 does not, 504 does not as well, so let's keep going. 532 does not, but 560, believe it or not, is the first number that can be div is divisible by 20 and 16 of our list of the multiples of 28. So 560 divided by 20 is 28. Okay, kind of makes sense. 28 times 20 is 560. And 560 divided by 16 is 35. Okay, so we have the number that we need here, which is 560. So now we have to find the variables. We have to encompass the most, okay? We have two Bs here, three Bs here, and four Bs there. So we have to get the most, B to the fourth power. Now, the other variable, A. Zero A's, one A, zero A. So we bring in one A. And so my final answer here is just 560, B to the fourth power, A. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use Minute Math. Minute Math, Minute Math. When you need help, you use Minute Math. MinuteMathTutor.com